It's important to note that all of these scenarios were conducted by trained professionals with safety precautions in place and are for demonstration purposes only. You should never try to recreate these situations yourself or attempt to address an electrical problem, issue, or outage that you may observe. Always contact trained professionals or your local electric utility to resolve any electrical problems. Electricity is everywhere in our daily lives. In fact, we're so comfortable with it, it's easy to forget the potential dangers surrounding it. Whether you are a customer or a first responder or are just trying to help out during an emergency, you need to know how to protect yourself. First, it's helpful to understand how electricity makes its way to you. Electricity is generated at power plants, then it moves across very high voltage transmission lines from a plant to a substation. At the substation, transformers lower the voltage and distribution lines branch out to deliver the lower voltage electricity to local homes and businesses. Since electricity moves across wires, also known as power lines, a wire or line anywhere along the delivery path can be dangerous, even fatal. And here's why. By nature, electricity seeks a path to the ground and will follow all available paths to get there. Unfortunately, the human body happens to be a very good conductor of electricity because it's made mostly of water. If you were to touch a wire that has electricity running through it, or even touch an object that is touching a live wire, the electricity will use your body as a path to get to the earth. As you can imagine, electricity running through your body can cause severe injury, burns, or even death if it interrupts your heart's natural rhythm. When electricity makes contact with the ground, the earth becomes energized for a certain distance around the contact. The strength of the electrical charge decreases as you move away from the point of contact. If it is possible that the ground has become energized, you should move out of the area by shuffling your feet because there may be a difference in the electrical potential under each foot. The difference could create an electrical path through your body. Now that you are aware of the dramatic effects of electricity on the human body, it's time to walk through some scenarios and illustrate just how dangerous it is to come into contact with electric wires. You've probably been told before why electricity is dangerous, but now it's time to show you.